Remember North Carolina Republican Virginia Fox? When a reporter asked Speaker Johnson about his efforts to block the 2020 election, Fox was emphatic. Speaker Johnson, you helped lead the efforts to overturn the 2020 election results. Will you help? Oh, God. Oh, God. Well, this elderly Republican has now proven that what goes around comes around. North Carolina seek recognition. Uh, thank you, Mr. Speaker. Pursuant to House Resolution 906, I call up House, I call up Bill H.R. 5. Will suspend. On the House floor, Fox just went silent. Does the gen gentlewoman have a general leave request? She had to be told by a staffer what to say. Um. I ask unanimous consent that all members have five days to revise and extend their remarks. Mm. Appearing confused, shutting up, and needing help is not a good look for any member of Congress, but it's particularly embarrassing for a Republican who suggested a reporter was confused and ordered that reporter to shut up. Virginia Fox has long been known as one of the saltier and nuttier Republican members of Congress, but her lunacy often doesn't break through all the noise coming from higher profile GOP nuts like Lauren Boebert and Marjorie Taylor Greene. Still, Fox has had her moments. The 80-year-old has been in Congress since 2005. She chairs the House Committee on Education and Labor. Fox has embraced Republican legislation empowering state and local communities to ban books. She helped pass a bill in the House, making it easier for communities to block materials in school involving sexual orientation and race. And yet Fox has spoken out repeatedly against the Biden administration for regulating gas stoves in the Green New Deal. Their newest attempt to prop up this failed radical agenda involved the banning of gas cooking appliances that millions of American families rely on every day. Point of fact, they are not being banned, they are just being regulated. Make no mistake, this harebrained scheme is about more government control, more control over the lives of Americans, more control over what we do, and ultimately how we think. Says the lady who seems fine with government banning certain books. What's the next domino to fall? Mr. Speaker, if this were to happen, American families would be crushed by high electricity bills and costly appliances in the name of climate activism. House Republicans have introduced the Save Our Gas Stoves Act and the Gas Stove Protection and Freedom Act to combat this madness. Ah yes, the Republicans stand for freedom, but only when it comes to kitchen appliances. If a woman wants to exercise her reproductive rights, or a teenager wants to read a book in the school library about the history of racism, well, forget about it. Anyway, Fox occasionally gets challenged directly in some House hearings. Given her chairmanship, she often has to go in front of a rules committee to defend GOP legislation. And a few months ago, Fox testified about a GOP bill that would restrict education spending on migrants. Democrat Jim McGovern questioned Fox about Republican policies of putting undocumented migrants on a bus or plane and sending them, unannounced, to cities and towns run by Democrats. Wouldn't you agree that that is something that is a, that's a bad thing to do? <clears throat> what I condemn is the fact that the Biden administration is totally lawless. It, it does absolutely. So you're not going to answer my it's question. It's doing no, no. Well, I'm I mean, the answer is yes or no. The border is totally open, yeah. and the governors right. are doing what they can do so to you, deal with the millions of people coming so you, into this country so, illegally. So you think it's okay to take a group of human beings, not tell them where they're going? put them on an airplane, and then drop them off in front of the vice president's house or on an island off Cape Cod or in New York City or in Chicago, that you think that that is an appropriate way to respond to some policy differences that you have with President Biden? <laughs> Just and, and, to call, the call an open border policy differences? Yeah. Well, to my understanding, the Biden administration does the same thing. They load people up in the middle of the night on airplanes and yeah. drop them off wherever they yeah. think they should drop them off. So without uh, coordinating with the local officials, you without think okay? coordinating with local officials, we've yeah. seen yeah. episode after episode yeah. of that happening on the part of the Biden. So you think this is okay? They have envelopes okay. with them okay. with papers well, we, we, to we, show we, them we, what yeah, to do. Right. So we, we, I mean, I saw what happened to some of these. I, I learned about what happened. 
I mean, with the migrants who were dropped off in Massachusetts without any coordination or notice. Um, I mean, luckily, we're, we're, our values are different than the values that are being on display. Well, I read the other day the, that the, there are some people uh, still uh, in Martha's uh, Vineyard uh, and they're enjoying it very yeah, much. Well, yeah, well, I... They're working, too, illegally. Yeah, yeah. It, the, I, I, I got to be honest with you. The, it, it is offensive to hear you talk in a manner in which you diminish the the worth of, of human beings. Um, I am not yeah. in any way yeah. diminishing the worth well, I think you of are any human yeah. being. Mr. So let McGovern, me ask you a question. I'm a very strong pro-life person. Yeah. I believe in treating people with dignity from birth to natural death. Well, I, and, I, I, and if you the, think that... People if, should if, be treated with dignity. You people should be treated with dignity, except if you're a reporter and ask a question Virginia Fox doesn't like, in which case you get told to shut up. <laughs> Uh, now, I, I assume that, um, because I've heard you before, warn against um, the federal government basically telling cities and towns how they should run their schools. I mean, I, I, I mean I, I, I've lost count of how many times over the years we've been in the Rules Committee when I've heard you come up here and say that, you know, the, 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 the federal government should butt out of decisions involving schools. Um, and yet here... You say that you know, no, we are we're going we're, we're gonna we're gonna not only insert ourselves, but we're gonna insert ourselves in a way where let's say you are a a public a, a, you're a, you're an educational institution that receives any federal money that we will we we will basically terminate um, federal support um, if you, for example, in this heat wave were to open up a an empty uh, gymnasium where there's no students at school right now so that people don't die from heat you know, exposure to the heat, that somehow that they, they, they're going to be punished for that? The taxpayers, the, when you say the word federal money, you're talking about hardworking American taxpayers. Uh, you make it sound like it's, it's manna from heaven. It's not fair to ask hardworking American taxpayers to pay to house illegal aliens. And that's what we're talking about. So what you well, what we are talking about in this video is that Virginia Fox is a hypocrite, she's Looney Tunes, and now it seems she is quieting herself or shutting up on the House floor due to her own confusion. As that saying goes, maybe from North Carolina, the chickens are starting to come home to roost. Well, I'm sure the occasional outbursts and squawking from Congresswoman Fox will keep coming. By the way, Donald Trump is freaking out over a new ad from the Lincoln Project, ridiculing him. You seem unsteady. You need help getting around. And wow. And an ominous, really an, an ominous country and you do. Are you sure you don't have dementia? It runs in the family. <laughs> Check out that video at the link below. I'm David Schuster. Thanks for joining us.